We hear you guys have a problem. I can't be in here at the same time as you. I think the thing to do is to move. You can't just uproot a family and take them across the city. We've you got... can. The bottom line is you guys have to move. Wow. Now this feels roomy. This is going to solve all of your problems. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. It still seems a little cramped. Are you fed up with your house? Are you going to fix it? Or are you gonna sell it? As a designer, I tell you it's time to renovate. As a realtor, I tell you it's time to relocate. We'll show you how to make the right choice. And get you the home of your dreams. Sarah and Mark are homeowners who have reached this housing gridlock. An apartment-sized kitchen and constant congestion on the main floor is driving this family nuts. I can't be in here at the same time as you. Okay. Add to that, limited workspace for Mark. I need to use a computer anyway. Why? A change is necessary. This couple is just at odds about what that change might be. Beautiful neighborhood, good central location. It is, but what a busy road for kids. Yeah, that's true. Hey, guys. Hi, hey. how hey, are Robert. you? Mark, nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Come on in. Come on in. This is the space. We hear you guys have a problem. Well, we moved into this place eight years ago, and it was a duplex. And it still has that feeling of a small apartment. The kitchen is cramped. We just have too much going on in here. Right. And it just doesn't work for us. OK, so what's going on over here? Storage and lovely workspace, see? Right. And there is very little room. Yeah, I can see the problems there. <laughs> what happens when the girls have friends over? Well, they're not allowed to have friends. Oh, that's <laughs> there's no space for the friends, so no. they can't come. We just need to make the space work better for us or find something else. Right. So what's the urgency now? Well, Mark's work has moved an hour, an hour and a half outside of the city each way. And that's really impacting on our life here. So he's complaining and complaining. And I'm complaining, too, because honestly, like I'm waiting for him to come home and have dinner with us. And it would be good if I could work at home sometimes, but there's just no space to do it. OK. Can you just move in? OK, OK. All right, there you go. So show me what's going on in the kitchen. I'll show you what's not going on in the kitchen, <laughs> this. You know, <laughs> like there's no room. Excuse me, excuse me. Look at our counter space. Yeah. I mean, I've got like this to work with. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are constantly bumping into each other. I actually open drawers to make more counter space for myself. Yeah, come on. <laughs> no. I'm not I put the cutting board there on, on, on top of the drawer. Yeah. It's Jeez. insane. So the other thing that I see here is that you don't have any closet space. Like all of the coats, the shoes are all sort of encroaching on this small area. It's brutal. And we're wiping out on this floor because there's not enough you go first. space here. You know, it's, it's always mayhem in this room. It's very frustrating. The other two rooms on the main floor are small but workable as extra family spaces and the second floor washroom is updated and a decent size. The two girls have cute bedrooms full of character. One even has its own bathroom. And this is our master. A yeah. little outdated and small, but... But it's good. Yeah, the problem is really in the kitchen. It's not working for us. I think the thing to do is to move, really. Uh, this is a great house to start out in, but it's time to go somewhere else. You know, that's not how I feel. You can't just uproot a family and take them across the city we've we've you got can. but we'd prefer not to if we had a choice we've got friends here the school my work yeah but you can get a job anywhere well you see wow. where the stress is right i suppose the only thing is if there was space that i could work at home part of the time so my job is fairly flexible right. i could stay home a couple days a week but uh -huh. as it is now there's no space to do that Okay, guys, first of all, you've got a beautiful house. You are convinced the house has way less space than it actually does. Nothing that we can't fix. My big question for you is, what's your rental wish list? Well, I guess the obvious improvement for me would be counter space, storage, an improved dining area. But the key here is an office computer space right. so that he can work from home comfortably a couple times a week. That would help a lot. Budget-wise, what would be your budget for this kind of renovation? Our budget is $40,000. $40,000. Tough. We're talking about creating three distinct spaces here, but I've definitely redesigned rooms on smaller budgets than this, so I know I can make this house work for you. I'm going to go crunch some numbers, draw up a plan. If you choose to renovate, then I'm going to come back, give you the house of your dreams. Sounds good to me. There you we'll go. I mean, it's great that you're going to try and do all that work, <laughs> but the bottom line is you guys have to move. You've gone from two people to four people, and this house needs a major renovation. Hmm. Houses in this neighborhood that are comparable to yours are selling between four hundred and six hundred thousand dollars. Wow. Unfortunately, the value of this house as is is four hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars. Really? 
That is low though, I'm surprised. As a realtor, I see this a lot. Shock over the value of your home. It needs work and I think you should move. If I could find you a new house that would suit all of your needs, what would be on your wish list? Obviously near where I work and a new kitchen, a new modern kitchen. And to move to a house that is wider, would want a separate office space, I think. For me, good schools nearby, parks and racks, libraries that we can walk to. And what would be your budget for the new property? I think we're looking at 600000 That's a great budget. I'm positive I'm going to be able to find you guys everything on your wish list. Mm -hmm. And if you choose to relocate, then I'll be able to show you more houses so that you have lots of options to choose from. Sounds good. All right, we're going to go get started, and we'll see you guys in a couple of days. Great. OK. You know, the only thing I would say to this family, move, move, move. You know, even if you could fix the inside, I mean, I'll give it to you. Mark still has a two-hour commute each day. Right. It's too much time away from the family. When I'm finished with the workspace, he'll be working from home a couple days a week. It's going to work out perfectly. They're staying. See? I got this. To help them make a choice, I get the first shot at convincing them real estate is the way to go. We're about 10 minutes from your work, wow. and there's a school right across the street. Wow. Let's see it. We have a half bath right here as soon as we get in. Oh, nice. That is very nice. Yeah. But what I wanted to show you guys was this fantastic open concept here. Wow. Look at the fireplace. Yeah, that's great. I've always wanted that. Come on into this gorgeous kitchen. Oh, nice. Wow. Now this feels roomy. Go to the fridge. On your way. I can go past you. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> this one certainly has a lot more space for you guys. Yeah, it definitely feels bigger. We could actually put a computer there. That would work really well, actually. We could keep an eye on what they're doing, even if we're not in the kitchen. That's really a great thing. Counter space, storage. It sounds like you want to stay here. This is like, great. You know what? <laughs> we're going to convince her. It's everything hmm. we wanted. <laughs> well, there's lots yeah. more to see. Okay. Let's go upstairs. We're going to go into the master bedroom. Oh. Well, it's big. So this is a master bedroom. This, this is, is actually what a master like, bedroom right? looks like, right, yeah. And then come and see this space. So this is the fourth bedroom. So there's lots of space, enough space for a kid. Perfect. And we also have a finished basement. So come on in here. Finished rec space. Wow. wow. This is nice. You know what? Our, our parents could stay down here when they come. Yeah. And it's bright. And the icing on the cake is the price. Your budget is $600,000. Yeah. This house is currently listed at $519,900. $80,000 under budget. Wow. Oh. $80,000. We may even be able to negotiate that price lower. It's tempting. Great try, V, but I've got other plans for this couple. Oh. Take a look at that, eh? Wow, what a good idea. Yeah, that's good. But it still seems a little cramped. I don't know, Robin. It doesn't look like Mark's in your corner on this one. I got you guys sorted out. This is gonna solve all of your problems. Yeah. Take a look at that, eh? We're gonna open up that back wall and give you guys a double door. Wow. That's incredible. Amazing. Yeah, it allows you to build a closet over to one side, so all of the stuff that you have, the coats, the shoes, then you're solved. Okay? That's great. Amazing. Absolutely. So we can move. You'll have ample space. So what we're gonna do in the kitchen, we're gonna give you one clear solid counter and you've got one good deep cabinet all the way along it'll give you 40 50 wow. percent more counter space upper and lower storage okay and to keep the cost down on that we're going to use cabinets from a big box store that looks great and gets better for you my man on the opposite side we're going to bring in a workstation for you you'll have ample space it's going to be around eight feet right. enough space for you yeah. for the girls and for you sarah wow that would give me enough room that i could stay home a couple of days a week at work i guess Oh, yeah. And opposite that will be your dining room. Is that a bench? Yeah, that's a built-in banquette. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's it. So more storage underneath. But this allows oh, eight, ten people, no problem, right? Okay. And we're going to continue the wood flooring all the way through. Oh, okay. We're getting it right on budget. Your budget's $40,000. Yep. Yeah. So we're right spot on. And if you guys decide to renovate, I'm going to put this plan into action. Sounds great. What you've done looks really great, but it still seems a little cramped. You know what? It's more than enough surface space for you and the girls. I love cool. it. I mean, you've given us something definitely to think about. So what do you think they're going to do? I think the best thing to do here is to move. Not a chance, man. Look at this neighborhood. They're not going anywhere. Yeah, but Mark's commute is two hours each way. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. We hear that you guys have a decision for us. We do have a decision. 
Has this couple decided to stay and renovate or sell and relocate? We've been thinking long and hard about this. Vanessa, you showed us an amazing house. It, it really it solves all our problems. I love the house. It was perfect. Wonderful job. But we had the renovation to see. The plans that you showed us, Robin, were great. I mean, it was a reimagining of our space. They were both great options. Great so? job. So we've decided to renovate. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good call. Congratulations, Vanessa. Really, really good call. Thank you, Vanessa. We could not leave the neighborhood. The schools, the friends, the neighbors. Yeah, I think the renovation really offers the best of both worlds because we get to stay where we are. But, you know, with the office space, I can avoid commuting altogether a couple of days a week. No, so. I love that. If our kitchen is as great as it looks like it's going to be, it's then be. it'll be fabulous. And I'm actually going to check back with you as well because the renovation is going to affect the value of your home. So I'll be back to reassess it. Great. Exciting. I'm okay. ready to get started. Let's do it. Let's go. Right off. You know, I have to tell you, I'm really surprised that they're renovating. I totally thought they were going to move. I'm going to trick that kitchen out. Bam. Yeah, but you have to be careful because opening up the walls in those old houses, sometimes like opening them can of worms. For sure. No problem. I'm on it. OK, we're going to renovate. First thing we got to do is clear up the space. We got to get this computer out of here, take the stuff off the walls, clean up, and get ready to demo. Let's All do it. Right, Girl's going to help out? Yeah. Cool. Follow me. Thank you. One, two, three. Oh, my god. Wow. wow. What do you got? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> with everyone's help, the spaces have been cleared out without a hitch. But this is an older home, previously fitted for apartments. And I've got a feeling we're going to find some hidden problems. What is that? That does not look pretty. Oh, it's some kind of leak. I mean, it looks like it's coming right into a uh, junction box, right? Oh, yeah. A little bit of moisture. Looks like a break here. This is, uh... You know what? I can smell it, eh? I think we should go upstairs and take a look, yeah? Oh, yeah. OK, guys. What we've got over here is a completely rotten door frame. And when it rains, it goes right into the kitchen. It's leaking. Wow. wow. We could patch this real easy. I wouldn't recommend that, because this is all going to rot. It's just a matter of time before it catches up to you. We brought the guys in, and we've got a price on a new door and a new window. It's going to be around $2,000. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's what I recommend. Like, strongly, that's what you need to do. Sorry to tell you. It's always a good idea for homeowners to have some contingency money for unforeseen reno issues that come along. Fortunately for Mark and Sarah, they've got that set aside. Well, we don't want our kitchen wrecked, yeah, right? Not after yeah. the renovation. If we've got to do it, we've got to do it. So, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, let's yep, do it. Let's do it the right way. Yeah, that's okay. the right call. With that decision made, the transformation can officially begin. We need to remove the tiles in the kitchen and see what's going on under that floor and behind those walls. OK, man, next we're going to do the rough in. Yeah, we're going to be roughing in electrical and plumbing, okay. um, taking out this old insulation, right on. putting the new stuff in. Anything else? Yeah. The header's going to have to be replaced, and we're going to have to put one that spans the whole distance, and it'll catch for the new sliding doors that we're putting in. For sure. In designing solutions for Mark and Sarah's space, I've made my selections on finishes, but the final decisions rest with the homeowners. OK, guys, for the banquettes, I'd like to cover them in vinyl. Yeah. It's the easiest stuff to clean. It's the most durable. Because the kids are going to be the ones on right. the banquette. Yeah. Okay. I think that would be good. For the backsplash, we're going to stay with this pattern, this finish, in this shape, this form. Yeah, it looks great. Let's look at a couple of kitchen cabinets. We quickly discounted the shaker door. I think we need the straight white laminate. Way easier to clean, way more durable. That slick look that we're looking for. I'm clean. totally with you on right. that. Looks great. This is the big move for you guys. For the dining table, we're reclaimed wood top. Did you reclaim that from our ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> The natural look of the reclaimed wood will contrast nicely with the sleek and ultra-modern kitchen and Mark's desk area. It really warms it up. Absolutely. It's also a very strong, durable wood and great for when you have kids. When we start to finish it up with all of the other accessories, you're going to have a really beautiful room that works. Thanks, Robin. Back at the house, the walls are being closed up, and we had one unforeseen cost for the electrical. 
To bring it up to code, we have to replace the entire panel. This will cost Sarah and Mark an additional 2,000 bucks, but it's money well spent and just within their contingency. Wow. Lots has changed. Look at this. Wow. Look at this space. Look at that door. Wow. Centered on the middle of the room. We're gonna balance it perfectly. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. We've repaired the ceiling on the inside. Mm -hmm. Upstairs is sort of stopgap for now until the new door and window come in. Hey! Oh, Vanessa. How are you guys doing? Hi. Good to see you. Let me show you what we're doing. Okay, yeah. Okay, check this out. Oh. That looks great. Yeah, it's amazing. It looks fantastic. Now, I know you guys did have some issues with the electrical and a leak. Mm -hmm. I know that there was about $4,000 spent on those items, and that's not necessarily something that you're gonna see a return on your investment. A buyer isn't necessarily going to pay more to have that upgraded electrical and to have that leak mm -hmm. fixed, but what it will do is allow you to sell your house, if you decide to sell in the future, easier, because yes. a home inspector would pick up on that. Oh, it's amazing. That's really a, a great thing. When I was here last time before the renovation started, mm -hmm. I valued your house at four hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars. Right. right yeah. Looking at this design plan, mm -hmm. you guys are going to receive over a hundred percent return on your investment. Hundred percent. Get out wow. of here. Wow. Yeah. So that means the new value of your property, five hundred thousand dollars. Wow. That's Please. amazing. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> By replacing the door and window on the upstairs deck, we've eliminated all the rot which caused the leak downstairs. And we're giving Mark and Sarah an upgrade they're sure to love. Now that everything's been fixed, above and below the deck, it's time for the flooring to go down, cabinetry to go in, and lighting to go up. The kitchen counter then arrives, so sink can go in, and the tiling can begin. It's all coming together beautifully. I've framed some of the kids' colorful artwork to bring an inexpensive personal touch to this wall. This place is ready for the big reveal, and I can't wait to show it off. Hi. Hey, Vanessa. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be here any minute. I can't wait for them to see it. So exciting. Will this real life Reno live up to Sarah and Mark's expectations? Oh. <laughs> After some ups and downs. It's leaking. Wow. wow. Robin has set the stage for Mark and Sarah's big reveal. Hey, Vanessa. I wouldn't miss this for the world. So <laughs> oh. <laughs> Check out the table. <gasps> Check it out, guys. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't know where to focus. I'm like totally speechless. This is incredible. <laughs> this is exactly what I need. This is perfect. It's huge. It's not a square inch bigger, but we've used every square inch of the existing space. But it feels so much wider now that that thing's not in the middle. Absolutely. And that's where I started, by removing that old peninsula and opening up this space. That allowed me to design an expanded dining, kitchen, and office that functions perfectly for the entire family. This is perfect. You can work over here. We talked about two days a week for you working from home. Yeah. You could work from home five days a week if you wanted to here. I would love to. Look at all this. The filing cabinet, the chair, the Oh yeah, the, that's the great. table, the, uh, the banquette. <laughs> you guys can fit 10 easily here, no problem. I never thought we'd have a table this big. This is reclaimed black cherry. It's 200 years old. Beautiful. It's, it's so gorgeous. I love it. You couldn't have done more with this space. <laughs> it looks beautiful for adults, and it works well with the kids. I mean, that you, you have somehow put both those worlds beautifully together. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm totally overwhelmed. Wow, these countertops are beautiful. I cannot believe this is our house. Is this, this our house? This is your house. This is gorgeous. Oh, look at all that. I love the natural texture. And you've got full depth counters. It's a really, really smart plant. I think you guys have close to twice the counter space here. Oh, I can believe it. Gorgeous. It really is, and the floor looks great. I love the way that it runs all the way through. Absolutely. It flows so beautifully. There's no interruption in space. Totally. It's just this long, beautiful, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. This solves all our problems. The renovation was the right decision. I can walk to you. <laughs> yeah, sure. We can open things. And you know, over here, we don't have the issues with the door. Yeah, you guys use this back door as your main door. Yeah. So beside the fridge here is your closet. You can put your coats in there, put all the kids' shoes and boots up top. That's fantastic. Yeah. Amazing solution. 
My husband stays home a couple of days a week in this gorgeous space. My kids can work here. Solving the function is what I appreciate the most. For sure. That's what I love. Robin really has redesigned two rooms. Not only the kitchen, yes. but the dining room yeah. as well. And I think that whole office area, honestly, is a huge, it's very attractive. Yeah. So that really gives yeah. you so much more value add to the property. Well, I can believe it. I mean, it's such a beautiful space. I'd pay more for it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, I didn't quite stay on budget, we fixed some major issues that Mark and Sarah couldn't ignore. I just uh, had no idea something like this could be done so well. Thank you. Robin. I totally appreciate that. Well, enjoy your space, you guys. You deserve it. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys see later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.